Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you are watching Pouring with Sonia. And this is my third in a series of, I'm going to call it my interior design color palettes, where I took some color palettes from the Sherwin-Williams site, and I'm just kind of thinking what might go well with maybe somebody's color palette on their wall for like a really pretty clock, not too vivid and bright, but also still interesting. Um, so what I have here is just a pearl white and I'm mad scientisting on some of these colors. Like this probably has four different colors I just mixed up, but it's just a pretty fun little light blue gray. This is just a, a warm gray with a little bit of black added. This is a whole bunch of different colors of greens and grays, gold greens, but it's just a nice color. Um, and then this is just a Prussian blue. I love me some Prussian blue. For the other two interior design um, palettes that I've done, I did, since they were kind of subdued colors, I did a black. You can probably see some of it here a black cell activator. But with this one, I thought I'd do white since I'm using white as one of the colors in a white pillow. Let's just, um, I don't know, I might regret it. I might prefer the black, but let's try this one with white. And I think that's the order I'm gonna put the colors down in actually too. And I think I'm gonna put the pearl white on the bottom um, and we'll just go from there. So, let me put them aside. Um, move, move. And we'll get started. All right, I've got my pillow paint here. Oh, also I thought I'd mention for this record, I have some old records. I usually try to look for black labels. This one had a red label and that red will just tint everything pink. So what I did is I painted some white paint over top of it, let that dry. That hopefully soaked up all the dye and now I'm pouring my pillow paint out on top of that. Should be plenty. Plenty, plenty. <clears throat> and now, let's just get started. We'll see. I've never put white down on top of white, so let's see what happens. Just thought a little bit of pearl white might be kind of nice. As the bottom color. And then I've got this nice kind of pretty French blue, blue gray. It's not too gray, it's mostly blue. And on top of that. But it's not too bright. It's definitely a subdued blue. Soothing, I wanna say. It's definitely a little thick. I'm going to say it's a little thick. <laughs> all my paints today, I don't know what it is, but I mixed them all a little thick. So far, they've turned out nice, but I don't know. I'm just playing around. And by the time I, I, I think it's because I'm mixing colors together instead of just pouring the color out of the tube. Um, I'm mixing them, so I'm usually adding more paint than I, I otherwise would have, I think. And I'm ending up with thicker paint, uh, paint because of it. All right. Definitely have a mound upon a mound. I was having fun kind of watching that pour out there. Probably not much to your delight though. And now for the Prussian blue on top of that. This is a gorgeous color. All right, so we have plenty of color down there. It would probably look great with the black cell activator. Do I wanna do that? 
Now let's do the white. <laughs> I'm trying something a little different now. A little bit of a... Let's just pop those two air bubbles since I can. Since I see them right off the bat. Tilt that a little bit back to the center. Must not have poured in the center. Okay. Put this over here. And let's get to blowing. My trash can was on my cord. quite as soothing as I intended it to be. It's still pretty exciting, <laughs> but I wanted a, a calming, but I think with that Prussian blue, especially with the white, maybe with the black, it would have been better if I wanted a subdued look because that Prussian blue with that white is just exciting. I won't know if the pearl white along the bottom is coming through or if that's the pillow coming through <laughs> until I kind of get going. See a little bit of the pearl white there, um, mixed in with that pretty delicate blue. But I think a lot of that's gonna spin off, unfortunately. So let's see if this is moving around. I wanna make sure that middle is moving before I try and spin it. Because I want it all to kind of move out together. One more. How to do it. Okay, and let's spin. Hmm. Let's do one more spin just because there's a lot of paint on it. And we'll just leave it at that. Honestly, I don't get any of that white from underneath, like the pearl white which I was hoping for since I put it down that it would really come up. And this became much more of a turtle look than I was hoping for with that light blue. Didn't really do much. I got a little bit of it here, but we'll see how. This is going to shrink back up in the middle a little bit. Um, it's pretty. Let's try and get this up. Uh-oh. Uh oh <laughs> I just have one little there we go one little piece of painters tape in the middle but it was being stubborn okay here I will put this down nope I don't want to tilt it at all and we'll come in for a look at that. Huh. I was hoping for more of that really light blue and white to come through. But say lovey. Lovey. Oh, and I, I threw them all away and I like to keep them out. So my little cups, so I know what colors I used. So let me grab those real quick. All right, I'll 
bring you in for a close-up. It's not bad. It's just not as soothing as I hoped. Probably should have gone with the black if I wanted to not create this gorgeous light blue lacing. <laughs> it is pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's just not uh, soothing. It's exciting. It's pretty nice looking though. So let's come in for some close-ups here. I got a little tiny bit of that light blue coming through. But for the most part, it's blue and green. So it's very totally looking. I didn't get much of the pearl white. I mean, there's a tiny, I can see that that's pearl white, but you know, normally the color that's on the bottom kind of shines through. And I guess that's not gonna happen with the pearl white. So it was pearl white, light blue, kind of a dark gray. That's probably just the dark gray, not even the light blue. The light blue has just kind of disappeared into this. That's just the gray, I think. And then the kind of olive green and the Prussian blue and Voila, but look at some of that. It's really pretty. The definition of the cells. So, and I can see that that um, blue is shrinking back up into the white and kind of making it all a light blue. It's pretty. It's, that's a nice pretty color, light blue. So um, that was my third in my interior designing kind of color palettes and uh, let me know what you think and until we meet again have fun painting everyone bye